Now we're going to use a database that already has a lot of juice in it. So you could take some time to add this data to your database, or you can download the sample that's provided on the lab website. Now I've already got some juice entered here that I've got about seven juice with different names, different taste values, some of them are the same price, and some of them come from different countries and some of them come from the same country. Now what I want to do is I want to really access the power of a database and that's the ability to retrieve information. Now this is a very simple database because we don't have a lot of info here and our next database that we're looking at uh, that we'll look at is going to be a little more uh, a little more complicated but the main thing about databases is being able to pull or retrieve information out of it by asking questions. So by asking a question of the database I can find things out like how many juice are in the table or how many juice from Canada cost less than three dollars or what's the average taste value of all the juice that cost more than two dollars and fifty cents so those are all different questions that can be asked and the way to ask questions in a database is to write a query so we're gonna write queries into access so for now I'm gonna close the table and I'll show you how to create the very first query which is gonna just list all of the data in the table I'm going to click on the Create tab, and on the Create tab we have Tables, Forms, Reports, and we have a section called Other. Now Query is the most important thing that we're going to be working on from now on. Uh, a table we've already looked at, so we've created tables that contain the data. Forms are different ways to report, that are ways to enter the data, but we are entering the data directly into our table, so we're not going to show you forms, and reports are exactly pretty much the same thing as queries. There are actually ways to format the query so they look nicer on screen and so we're not going to show you how to use reports either. You could check out some online videos uh, or different tutorials from different websites to learn that. But over in the other group we have either query wizard or query design. So we're never going to use the query wizard in this course because it's important for you to learn how to make queries by hand using query design. So just click on query design. Now when query design is used, you'll see a list in this box called the show table dialog and it will list the number of tables that we have and it will list any queries that we have or it would list both. But we're always just going to be pulling from the table screen and you can double click on juice and you'll see that it appears in the window behind us. So I can, I've added that to the screen but I can't really do anything else. So I'm going to close the show table dialog. Now if you had accidentally closed it without adding the proper table or if you maybe added not enough tables, you could show it again by clicking on this button here called the show table button in the query setup group on the design tab. We're actually editing a query right now and this type of query is called QBE or query by example. Now some of you might have heard of SQL which is the structured query language and we're not going to use SQL in this course but you will find that as soon as you create a query in QBE, Access actually uses SQL to do all the work. So on the design tab, when we're creating our query, there is a button called show table. So it can display the show table dialog box if I need it again, but I can just close it for now. On this screen, you'll see now that there's a little there's a little preview of our table. It shows us that the juice table contains the ID field, which is the primary key. We have juice name, price, taste, and country. Now the first query I might want to run is called a select query because it's just going to show me a bunch of records. And maybe I want to say I want to see the name of the juice, its price, and the country of origin. So I don't want to see its taste value for whatever reason. Maybe this is just all the info I need right now. So as I double click on each of the field names, they appear at the bottom of the screen in the query skeleton. Now in the query skeleton we have field, so here's the juice name, price, taste, er, price, and country. Then there's a, field, a row called table, so all of these come from the juice table, and in fact that's the only table we have right now, so there's not much excitement there. And I could sort columns uh, if I want to, but I'm not going to do that right now. But you see that there's a show row, and under show there's a little checkbox. So if I want to see the name of the juice, there's a checkbox there. If I want to see the price, I leave the checkmark there, and I'm making sure that I want to see the country. Don't remove any of the check marks yet, but I'll show you a few different queries where you could remove the check mark because you don't want that particular field being displayed. So we've created our very first query. I can close the query by this little X, not the big red X, just the little black one. Close the query and it says, do you want to save the changes of the design to, of query one? So I say yes, but I'm going to call this all juice and I'm going to hit OK. 
So now, if you look over on the left-hand side, here we, again, I'm just seeing the juice table, and I don't see the query that I just created because it is only showing me tables. So I'm gonna click on the little block pointing arrow. I'm gonna choose object type, which is already checkmarked, and I go down and it says filter by group, and I want all access objects. So now I can see the juice table and the query called all juice. Now what happens when I run a query is it's going to take the instructions I gave it and it's gonna pull that information from the juice table. So if I double click on the query, I get all of the information from the juice table that I asked for. So there's the juice name, the price, and the country for all the juice in the juice table. If I look down at the bottom, it says there are seven records inside the juice table and it's showing me all of them. So that's our first query. So I'm gonna close the query. Actually, I will point out here, if this is what I wanted to report on or maybe tell my boss about, I could actually uh, hit Control A to select all of those records or uh, copy that, well, that selects all the fields. I'm gonna right click and choose copy and I can actually open Microsoft Word. And let's say I wanted to create a report to send to my boss, then I can open Microsoft Word, just hit Control V or paste and it automatically pastes in the data from our access table. So that'll be something you might want to take uh, uh, an interest in. So I'm going to close that. I don't actually need to save it right now. So I've created this query called all juice. I'm just going to close this one and I'm going to create a new query. So that's one way I can very easily create a query. And now I want to make some more complex queries. I want to list all the juice that costs more than $2. So I'm going to go to the create tab click on query design and again add the juice table close the show table dialog box show me the name of the juice and its price now I'm not particularly interested in the country or the taste so I'm not going to display it right now let's say I just want a list of all the juice that cost more than two dollars so I do want to see the name so there's a check mark beside name and under price I'm going to go to this criteria row in criteria, I can type greater than two, and that'll show me all of the juice that have a taste value of greater than $2. Now, instead of closing the query and saving it, I will show you there's a neat little trick here. I could go to the view from, because I'm currently in design view, and I can switch to data sheet view, and it allows me to instantly see the results. So I can see that there in fact all the juice cost more than two dollars so maybe i want to look at the juice that costs more than 250. so i'm going to go back into the design view and i'm going to click on the little pencil now i'm in the design view for the query so i'm going to say this is actually 250. so show me the names of the juice and the price for all the juice that costs more than 250. so i can either go back into design view or i could actually run the query when we're making a select query like we are now you can see that this type of query has been is a select query then run and data sheet view really do the same thing it's not really a big difference so just click on run and now I can see that it's only showing me five juice so two of the juice cost less than 250 or in fact one of them actually costs equal to 250 so it's not being shown in this query so I can actually close this that's a good query close it say yes and I'm gonna call it expensive juice so that's all the juice that costs more than 250. Now I'm actually going to go back into expensive juice and I'm going to go back into the design of the query. And let's say that I didn't want to see the price of the juice. So I just want a list of the juice names. Well, I'm going to remove the checkbox. So when I take off the checkbox, it's not going to list the price. So I just go and run the query. And now I see the five names of the juice, but I still needed the juice, the price field there so that I can query on its uh, price so I can use the criteria in that price field so remember if you don't want to see a field being displayed in the results of your query then remove the checkbox from the show check mark or the show field so I'm going to close that one and we'll leave it there and uh, we'll remove the name of the we'll remove the price from being displayed now there are a couple other queries listed on the website and I'll, I'll go through creating some of them with you here so I'm going to create a query that shows me all the juice that costs greater than $3 with a taste value of, or no, less than $3 and a taste value greater than 4. So I'm going to create 
query design, add the juice table, and close the show table dialog box. So it's a very set pattern on creating queries. You just do the same things over and over again. I want to see the name of the juice, its price, and its taste, and I'll also list the country that it comes from in this case. So I have my juice name. I want to know if the juice, I want to see all the juice that costs less than three dollars and a taste value of greater than four. Now I don't want to see the juice price or its taste, so I'll remove it, but I do want to see the country field. So I can run the query and I don't get any records. So it's very possible that you could run a query and you don't get any results. It does say one of one, but they happen to be blank. So that just means there's no good tasting cheap juice. So make sure that you know that you've got a correct query. So you could always go back and double check on the design and you say, yeah, I, I do want less than $3 and a taste value greater than four. So my query is correct and it does not have any good tasting cheap juice in the table right now. I'm gonna close this, say yes. And this is good, cheap juice. There are just a couple more queries I want to show you before we move on into the next set of database uh, videos, which will talk about uh, multiple tables, and that'll be much more complicated. So there's just a couple of basic queries we'll do next. Go to the Create tab, create a new uh, query, double-click Juice, or I can cl simply click Add, and it adds the field, that particular table to the, my query skeleton. And then I close the show table dialog box. Now I want to actually list, uh, let's see, what is it that I want to list? Let's say I wanted to list all of the juice that came from Canada. So I want to see their name and their price and the country. I don't really want to see the country because I just know that they're going to come from Canada. So I want to see the name of the, the, name of the juice and its price. Now if I want to see the juice that came from Canada, then in the criteria field, I can actually just type Canada. And if I press tab, you'll see that it puts quotation marks around it. So you could type the quotation marks in or you can just let Access correct it yourself. So now if I just run this query, and I'll probably do this for the next few so that we go by rather quickly. I run this and I see that there are three juice in the table that come from Canada. I can go back into the design view and I can remove the checkbox from Canada or country. And I can run it. And there I see that I just see the name of the juice and the price and we've got three juice. Now let's say I wanted to find all the juice that didn't come from Canada. So I can go back into the design view. I can put the word not in front of Canada and I can press tab and you'll see it might even, it might put not in uppercase depending on how you write your query, but uh, that's good enough for now. It says not Canada. So now if I run the query, now I see four juice. Now these are all the juice that don't come from Canada. So I can go back and that's a very important way, a very important type of query that you're going to want to create. So down in the criteria view, you can either type specific values that you're looking for, or you can put not in front of them to exclude those particular records from being displayed in your query. Now, there is a neat little trick here. If I wanted to list all the countries that start with the letter C, then I have to type in the word like. So I'm typing countries, um, I want to see all the juice with country names like, and I put C asterisk. So I can use what are called wild cards. And the asterisk is a wild card that represents any number of characters. So if I press tab, you'll see that it puts a capital around L for like, and it puts the C asterisk in quotation marks. So now if I run this particular query, it's going to show me not only the three Canadian juice, but also one from China. And I can verify that just by going into the design view, putting the check mark box on our country, run the query again. And so I find Canada and China as the juice that I see that start with the letter C. I've just shown you how to create a query that lists all the juice from countries that start with the letter C. So how would you create a query that lists all the juice that don't start with the letter C? I'll leave that up to you, but if you have questions, feel free to ask. In the next set of videos, we'll take a look at creating more difficult queries in a database that has multiple tables. So stay tuned and we'll learn more about Access.